women have been diagnosed with HIV and they're pregnant and the question becomes this unborn child am I going to transmit HIV to this child both partners are worried even after this child is born will this child be diagnosed with HIV that is what we are going to be looking out for today if you're seeing my face for the first time welcome to my youtube channel my name is Chidima and a registered nurse consider subscribing to this channel if you like what we do here because here we talk about reproductive health sexual health and wellness and every health topic that interests you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back again to watch my videos without wasting time let's get to looking at this topic at three different stages the first stage will be during pregnancy the second stage is going to be labor and childbirth and then the third stage is going to be breastfeeding because these three stages are where this child can actually get this HIV. So during pregnancy this baby is enclosed in a sac known as the amniotic sac with the amniotic fluid in it so baby basically swims in this fluid and does not have direct contact with mother's blood or every other circulation of fluid the mother has so it's like the sac is a protective um, domain for this child why this baby is in this sac can this child actually get hiv so there have been an ongoing study regarding this issue and research have found that that just few babies stand the risk of contracting hiv in the womb depending on how the mother has been able to manage herself ever since she has been diagnosed of hiv when i say this what do i mean there's what we call viral suppression if you're diagnosed with hiv and you're taking your medication to reduce the viral load the amount of hiv virus that is seen in your system then this is what we call viral suppression now if your blood is sent to the lab and substantial amount of the virus or the virus can't even be seen during laboratory investigation then your baby stands the chance of less than one percent to contract hiv while in the womb okay so there's what we call undetectable viral load you are positive but when the test is done the viral load cannot be clearly distinguished or the viral load cannot be clearly calculated then it means that you have an undetectable viral load of hiv virus and that is the best place to keep this viral load if you're pregnant because when you have an undetectable viral load of hiv virus then your baby stands the chance of less than one percent risk of contracting hiv while they are in the womb now let's have a look at during childbirth so 90 percent of the time most babies in the womb when the sac is still intact will not contract hiv but at the point where it becomes an issue for this baby to contract hiv or not is during childbirth the method of childbirth which you have chosen whether it's cesarean whether it's normal vagina birth somehow has an influence on the, this decision of this child having to contract hiv so you know that when the amniotic sac breaks or the fluid breaks the baby is now exposed to body fluids of the mother circulations of the mother and we know that hiv is transmitted fast by exchange of body fluids so at this point that is where majority of the babies will contract hiv some studies will say that um it's safer to have cesarean section if your viral load has not gotten to that point of being an undetectable viral load why some studies will say regardless of whether you do cesarean section or vagina bed if your viral load is not to that lowest point of being undetectable this child can contract hiv so you can see that during pregnancy you cannot completely eliminate the fact that the child can still contract hiv it is you the mother who is going to protect this child by making sure you are consistent with your antiretroviral um, medications which the doctor has given to you now during childbirth 
you still have to continue taking your medication. Um, advanced technology is there now. The surgeons, if you're having a cesarean section, they've got a lot of method of delivery to protect this child once they have cut through into the womb. During vagina birth, of course, this child will not escape having contact with maternal blood, maternal this, maternal that. So at childbirth, this baby is 100% exposed to contracting HIV, regardless of whether it is cesarean section or vagina birth. But the most important fact you must bear in mind is reducing your viral load to an undetectable point. Then this baby stands less than 1% risk of contracting this HIV, either during pregnancy or during childbirth. Now, after you have given birth to this baby and baby has been cleaned up, all the stuff has been done for this child, the baby within 48 hours will be tested for HIV. And the baby will be commenced on HIV medications immediately, antiretroviral therapy immediately. Sometimes it might last for as long as two to six weeks for this child to be on this therapy. Now, after this baby is tested for uh, 48 hours, baby will be tested again at six weeks, baby will be tested again at 12 weeks, some we test finally at when this child is one year and a year and six months, depending on what is obtainable in the country where you live. Okay, so that is that for um, labor and childbirth. So if you are positive with HIV, make sure that your baby starts antiretroviral medication immediately to eliminate the chance of contracting. Now, the last stage is going to be breastfeeding. That's what we call elimination of mother to child transmission and during breastfeeding you have to there is no law that says that a hiv positive mother is not allowed to breastfeed their child your doctor your gynecologist is going to lay bare the options tell you the risk associated with breastfeeding and then you will make your choice of what you have to do so if you want to breastfeed your child because hiv is transmitted through breastfeeding so if you want to breastfeed your child your child will continue to be on antiretroviral medication for as long as they are breastfeeding now some mothers will prefer not to by any chance increase the chances of their child contracting hiv by bottle feeding the baby with infant formulas or if you're in a country where there are um, donor banks where you can get uh, breast milk that is being donated, offered to your child, which have been properly screened of hepatitis, HIV, and all of those transmitted infections, and then your child can still get breast milk. So breastfeeding, breastfeeding is a way of transmitting the HIV to the child. So most mothers, do not want to live with that guilt or oh, my child could have escaped from HIV if I haven't breastfed. So you'll be given the option of breastfeeding your child and having this child take antiretroviral medication as long as they are breastfeeding, which still does not eliminate if they will have HIV or not. Or completely not breastfeeding this child and giving them properly prepared baby milk or getting breast milk from donor banks. Initially, when HIV um, was an issue for mothers, we started at the point of having uh, prevention uh, from mother to child transmission, which we call PMTCT. But now, the sole aim, the sole goal of managing a HIV pregnant mother is complete elimination of mother to child transmission, which we call EMTCT. So if you're HIV positive, it is not written anywhere that you will transmit HIV to your child. In fact, there are a lot of babies who have tested HIV negative. A lot. The most important thing is adhere to medical advice from your midwife, medical advice from your doctor. Make sure you take your antiretroviral medications so that you can bring your viral load to an undetectable level when your blood is sent to the lab. And then giving your child the chance of surviving without HIV, which is the sole aim of most parents.
who have been diagnosed with HIV. Anyway, this is where I'll be ending this video today. I hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to others and share this video to other people so that they can gain value as well. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video and thank you for sticking around. Bye.